Hey guys, welcome back to Motion Raceworks YouTube channel. Today we are talking about mechanical fuel system components and some of the new parts we've made to uh, not only develop the systems better, but make things a little easier and more flexible as far as building goes. Today we're gonna to be talking about our new hex drive fuel pump bracket. Um, if you see this thing, it looks a little similar to some brackets that have been around for quite a few years, but were designed around applications that didn't need as much flexibility as far as fitment, layout, and everything in between. Today's cars, today's builds require a lot more from parts as far as flexibility and fitment. You're putting these parts in cars that weren't traditionally made for mechanical fuel systems and they weren't designed around these types of engines as well as these types of chassis. Traditionally, a mechanical fuel system ended up in a funny car or a dragster or a chassis car that was just designed around it. This bracket, as normally in common scene, was originally designed by a few different companies and they had a passenger side and they had a driver side. And that wasn't an issue. They were not running alternators. They didn't have tight frame rails. They designed everything right off of a motor plate so it could fit anywhere. Today's cars and today's builds require a lot more from parts and require a lot more demanding application fitment issues. We took a part that was good and redesigned it to fit your chassis better, to fit your engine and uh, give us a platform to build off of. If you aren't familiar, we've had LS Mechanical brackets out for a while. These are bolt-on solutions that allow you to put on a lower passenger or lower driver side and we continue to develop more solutions because chassis demand it and everybody's build is a little bit different. This is a piece that will bolt directly in place of that but it adds you the flexibility of changing your mind, changing where things are going to lay out after you've already bought the part. You know if John is going to build a turbo coyote or a turbo LS motor uh, combo and he buys all the parts ahead of time and then starts to build. He's building the headers, he's building all the accessories. He may have bought a driver side but needs a passenger side. Uh, the beauty in this piece is that it has both options built into one. Uh, these three little bolts right here can be removed. Once you remove the bolts, you can instantly turn it from one side bracket to the other. You can either flip it that way or that way. And then the other nice thing is you have a lot of fine tune ability. So this is our uh, LS bracket and there'll be spacers here. But if you buy the passenger side, which this is a passenger side, it's gonna lay the bracket out like this. And that's just generally for the pulley to clear. Well, you don't really have a whole lot of options if you're out too far right here in your frame rails in a way, because this pulley is gonna be a 56 or 50 tooth pulley on an LS engine. Uh, to get the speed correct for the mechanical pump. Well, that might run into the frame rail or get in the way of the headers, whereas you might actually have enough room to move it in here. And as you can see with these adjustable hole mounts here, you can actually move it in, clear your frame rail, clear your headers, and uh, still lay things out exactly how you want them to be. And if that's not enough, then you can obviously move, uh, turn it over and adjust it again a little bit more. And then obviously you can do the same thing on the other side. I know we're showing this on an LS, but this actually has the same standard pattern that all of these brackets have always had, which is based off of a small block Chevy, big block Chevy. So it'll still go right in place and bolt up in those. And in those areas, uh, obviously you need to space it correctly, depending on what mandrel you're running. So three bolts changes everything. It still has the 3 8 hex drive in the back, so you can adapt this to a hex drive style fuel pump, which is common for Waterman or Aeromotive. Aeromotive has a couple different styles now, so you want to make sure you get a hex drive. And then a lot of other industry standards are that 3 8 hex drive. And then you can also bolt on the 3-bolt three, uh, the three bolt adapter to switch it over to a cable drive uh, without any other components other than that adapter, which I'll put the link for this part as well as the adapter in the description below. The front is a 5 8 shaft with a 3 16 keyway, very common for pulleys that exist on the market. Uh, just want to check your compatibility on that. In addition to that piece, we also have a new mandrel. Um, this is a three bolt mandrel that we developed for the Coyote platform and it just so happens to work on an F body GTO spacing uh, ATI dampener for an LS engine. Um, it's a three bolt, it goes right on the front, comes with bolts to run if it's being used in conjunction with an AC or just being bolted on its own. Um, and then this is a 16 tooth HTD pulley 
with a 32 tooth matching so you can split that down in half. Uh, a lot of folks run these engines about 8,000 RPM, so that'll give you your desired 4,000 RPM mechanical speed. And uh, this part will be out later today. I'll also put the uh, link in the description. It's an exciting new part for a Coyote platform. Um, it allows you to run a mechanical pump. Uh, they don't have the HTD pulleys built into the back of the balancer like an LS does or have the ability to. Um, and then for the LS crowd, it allows you to have another HTD location. So um, on an LS platform, it's very common to drive the oil pump off the back. And if you don't wanna drive the fuel pump off the back of the oil pump uh, due to space limitations and other reasons, you can move it out front here and now have the mechanical pump run off the front. Uh, that also gives you the ability, as weird as it sounds, to run AC with a mechanical fuel pump. So. We know that fuel is a huge demand these days. A lot more people are switching to ethanol and methanol fuels, and we wanna make sure we have a way to deliver it for you guys with an easy solution. And these three parts definitely help that. We have a lot more of these style parts coming in the future uh, for cable drive stuff and mounting um, solutions. So you definitely wanna keep an eye on our website. If you have feedback, definitely let us know. If you don't know what you need for your platform and have some questions, we have a really cool interactive fuel system builder uh, forum on our website. It's on the home page. If you scroll about halfway down, you'll see it. It allows you to tell us everything about your combo and then our reps will put together and make suggestions for your car based on the information you give us. And you can always call us live, 800-878-9274. During working hours, we have some of the best representatives in the industry. They're car guys just like you guys, and uh, they're very familiar. They build a lot of fuel systems, and they're very proficient in what they do. So hopefully that helps you guys both in parts and knowing who to turn to if you have questions. We sell all of the popular Aeromotive Waterman Magna Fuel uh, systems as well as Fergola fittings and lines. So we can put together a whole system make your life really easy in a area that is traditionally kind of confusing. So we will catch you next time. Thanks for tuning in to this product spotlight. We're really excited about it and I think you will be too.